Hello, it's Sherry from What Children Really Want, and today I'd like to read this book. <coughs> oh, excuse me, Father Christmas Comes Up Trumps by Nicholas Allen. Father Christmas has lots of presents to deliver, and he must not, I repeat, must not make a sound. But he has stuffed himself with sprouts, and now there's a rumble in his tummy and a naughty noise that's bursting to get out. Are you ready for this rip roaring read? Father Christmas sits on his bum. It's time for him to fill his tum. It's Christmas Eve, the night's ahead. He must be sure he's properly fed. Oh, yummy, yummy Christmas dinner. Oh, I can't wait to tuck in. He eats his dinner with plenty of sprouts. Oh, I love my sprouts, he greedily shouts. Thirty, forty, all smelly and green. Fifty more and another sixteen. Ah, oh. How many did that make? He waddles now to the waiting sled. The reindeer watch with secret dread. The sleigh is surely heavy enough without this Santa so sproutly stuffed. Oh, my tummy! Up in the sky and over the moon, under the clouds and down to the roofs, into the chimney with a squash and a squeeze and through the flue with a push and a heave and that's when it starts the first of the trouble as from his tum comes a bubble 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 oh no those sprouts I can feel them start my tummy feels funny I'm going to fuck Shh says the elf. Don't bottom blow. You must not, must not let it go. You'll wake the children and they see their toys. So don't let your tum make another rude noise. In the next house, he trips. And now he stumbles. And from his belly comes a grumble, grumble, grumble. He feels his way. It's so dark, he fumbles, and then his tummy goes rumble, rumble, rumble. Up in the sky and over the moon, under the clouds and down to the roofs. In this old house, he slips on a rug, and from his stomach comes a glog, glog, glog. There's not much time, so on they must whiz. But the run makes his tummy go fizz, fizz, fizz. Shh, says the elf. No parping allowed. You must not, must not let it out. The deer are so tired and the sleigh is so slow. And all Father Christmas wants is to blow. I can't hold it much longer. And here is a last child's house in sight, but no chimney to see in the first dawn light. So it's up the ladder and over the wall, Ouch! under the window and bounce in the hall. Ouch! Oh, my tum, it's going to start. This time, I'm really, really going to fush, says the elf. Don't let yourself toot, not until we've completed the route. But then Father Christmas releases a cheep. <coughs> and one little child stirs under the sheet. Run, Father Christmas, the elf says. Run, and no more rude noises, please, from your bum. Under the window, once out of the hall, up the ladder and over the wall. Ouch! But 
but look over here. The deer are so tired. They lie in the sleigh, completely expired. Now we're all stuck. We can't even depart. And this time I really am going to... Shh, says the elf. Don't even start. You must not, must not, must not... Bubble, bubble, rumble, grumble, rumble, rumble. Glug, glug, fizz, fizz. Oh no. So the world wakes up and the children all cheer. Father Christmas has come up trumps. Now is the best day of the year. Do you think Father Christmas will be eating so many Brussels sprouts again? Yes, for sure, he'll do that again. No, no he won't do that again, he's learned his lesson. Yes, yes he will do it again. No, no he won't. Yes he will. He won't. Yes he will. Uh-uh. I hope you enjoyed this fun read aloud story. Please like and subscribe and be sure to add this book to your collection. You'll find the link for it in the description box below as well as a link for my festive playlist. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>